Ho, ho, ho. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I hope I'm not calling in the middle of your grandkids. Oh, good. Good. Uh-huh. Well, I was just calling to see if you'd heard anything else about poor Ann. I know it. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's why she's in the predicament she's in. I mean, you got to play nice with your daughter-in-law if you want to see your son. Mm-hmm. Well, bless her heart. Is her daddy still laid up in the hospital? You know, they just need to go and pull that plug. I mean, he's gone. He's just gone. Mm-hmm. I know it. It ain't no kind of life to live. It ain't no kind at all. Well, you think he'd have the decency to just go on and die. <laughs> I know. Well, ho, ho, ho to you, too. Oh, not much of anything. Deb's gonna ride over here in a minute and work give me a honey bait, so I'm just gonna throw that out with some fixings. I mean, she should be here in a minute. Mm-hmm. I sure will, you too, sugar. Okay. Okay. Merry Christmas. And he did, he picked it up, and he drank it. I don't know if you've ever tasted it, like the taste, like when it's under your lip, I ain't can't that believe bad, he but, made me come here. And I can't believe you want to let two hundred some odd dollars you know she's got for you go to waste. Is that what you want to do? You you want to? Yeah, let that you... is exactly what I want to do. Baby, look, she's your mama, and we could really use that money. Let's just get it over with. Mm -hmm. Well, ho ho ho, happy ho ho, hey baby girl. Oh, how are you? Well, and I see you brought a friend. Uh, Mom, this is Lamar. Lamar, this is my mother, Gail. It's nice to meet you, man. Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm a hooker. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. It's a nice place you got here. Well, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Deborah doesn't ever tell me anything about her life, so I can't say that I've heard of you, but I'm glad you're here. Look, y'all just come on in and make yourselves right. comfortable. Uh, Mama, we can't stay long. We just thought we could do gifts and maybe oh, have a drink. Oh, or... so you brought gifts, Deborah? Um. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're just here for your gift. Well, let me tell you, there's not gonna be any gift given until we all sit down as a family and eat this honey bait. So come on, Lamar, you can help me set the table. Right. All right. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now, maybe you can just help me cut this ham. They come sliced, don't they? Uh, well, he's a smart one, Dad. He passed my trick question. It wasn't a trick question, Mama. You didn't know they come sliced. You don't have to pretend like you knew all along. Well, of course I know they come sliced. You think I just fell off the back of a turnip truck? Now, Lamar, I would love to know a little bit more about you. Did you um, play any sports? Varsity football, first string. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, Debbie's brother was an all-star quarterback. Unbelievable athlete. He could have gone pro. You never told me you had a brother. I, I wonder if we played each other. I was over at Rogers. Oh, well, see, they were at Clinton. Uh, well, uh, I love talking SEC football. I look forward to meeting him. Daniel's dead. Mama just likes to set a place for him at the table. Oh. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's all right. It's true. He did die a few years ago, but, you know, that's that's why we talk about him. It's hard. The holidays are hard, but that's why we talk about him and keep his memory alive. Thank you, yes, Lamar. I appreciate that. All right. Everybody, come on and get your place. I'm not serving y'all. This is family style around here, Lamar. Sounds yourself. good to me, ma'am. Come on, Deb. Look, don't let it get cold. Here, why don't you let me have that while you make it? Uh, I got it. Lord, I cannot say no to a warm roll. Yeah, I got this new diet I was gonna try, but then I thought, what is the point? I just need to get through this holiday. Maybe it'll stick. It's just so hard, though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, Lamar, would you like to return thanks? I, I would. Dear Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to rejoice in the birth of your precious Son, Jesus Christ. 
who you loved from the moment he was a baby boy born into this cruel world until his death at the hands of sinners and hypocrites. Thank you for your example, Lord, of how to love your children and for sending your precious son to die on the cross so that we may have eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Now, Lamar, I would love to know more about you. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have a sister over in Corinth. Oh, well, see, that's wonderful. Your mama is blessed. I always said if the Lord gives you one of each, then you can just stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that I mind folks having more than two children, you know, but, I mean, if you've got one of each, then, you know, why bother? <laughs> well, somebody's a little thirsty today. <laughs> What's so funny, little Debbie? You're so funny, Mama. You're so funny. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the girls at the Rotary Club do come with class clown. <laughs> no, 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 not um, not funny ha-ha, just funny pathetic. Deb. Does she talk like that to you, Lamar? I, I'm worried about you, Deb. We are worried about you. Okay, no, no, Mama. No, no, you're not going to do the thing where everybody's crazy but you. Oh, no, no, no. And you are not going to get in one of your bad humors because I cannot handle it today. Well, I cannot handle sitting here and listening to you talk about him for one more minute. I will talk about my baby boy any time I want. That's fine. We can talk about him, but let's just, let's just tell, tell the truth. Where are your parents from? They're from around here. How do you do it, Mama? How do I do what, Debbie? Just rewrite history. And does it help you sleep at night? Because, because I need to know. Because I have not been able to sleep through the night in 10 years. And you think I have. There she is. There she is. I have been waiting when for you to drop this routine and actually just show up. Are you through with your plate, Lamar? No, ma'am. Actually, I was hoping to, uh... Where are you going, Mama? Hmm? Where are you going? I thought you wanted to talk about Daniel. I thought you wanted to keep his memory alive. You know what? You were just being ugly and hateful, and I will not have you speak to me like that in my own kitchen on Christmas Day. You want to know how he died, Lamar? Lamar, come here. Come here, Lamar. I want you to ask her, do you want to know how my big, beautiful, handsome brother died? Ask her. Baby. Ask her. Ask her how he died. How did he die, Mama? Tell him how Daniel died. His heart stopped beating. You're right. You're right, Mama. His heart did stop beating. But that tends to happen when you shoot yourself in the closet with a hunting rifle. That's how my big brother died. Lamar, would you like to know why my big brother shot himself? I think you've had enough. Daniel blew his brains out Debbie, because please. Mama saw him kissing Jason Gordon, a boy from our school. You dragged him into this kitchen and you told him that he was sick. And then you was gonna send him somewhere to get better. He was perfect! It was that Gordon boy that confused him and put snakes in his head! You're the only snake in any of our heads, Mama. What was I supposed to do, Debbie? What was I supposed to do? Stand by? Just stand by and watch him throw everything away. He would have lost everything. Scholarships, babies, a normal life. He could have gone pro! What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to love him. You were supposed to love us. Let's go, Lamar. Don't you walk away from me, you ungrateful little bitch. You think this is all my fault, huh? Well, what about you? 
You were there and you didn't say a word, not one word. And you wanna know why? Because you loved it. You were always jealous of him, always. Because you weren't as special as him, you weren't as pretty as him. He was my baby boy! I have to live with the fact that I didn't stand up to you that night. Every day for the rest of my life. And you know what I thought, Mama, when I heard that gunshot. I thought you killed him. Because that's the last thing he said to him. Remember? I told him I would love him you forever. You said that to his clothes. He Basket. knew! He didn't. The last thing you said to him was if you choose to live this perverse life, then you are dead to me. And that is exactly what he became, but on his terms. And you think that you can set a place for him at that table and you can put up these stupid stockings and put these crazy fucking angels everywhere like they are going to keep you company when both of the people who came out of you want nothing more than to get away from you. You know, next year, just mail me a check. Happy, happy, ho, ho.